Mrs. Vallejo and I'm Gracie and we're here with the RHS Stampede. Okay, so today we're just going to be asking you a couple of questions on college apps. So the first question is how many colleges should a student apply for? I think the magic number is five. I would pick one reach school, which would be one school that might be more difficult to get into, three schools that you're fairly confident that you might qualify to attend, and one backup school. Okay, and then the second um, question is going to be, can you explain what FAFSA is? FAFSA is the free application for federal student aid. So once you've completed the application, each of the colleges in your list will get a copy of your family's finances and that way they know how much money to offer you to attend their college. And then another question is, what are the different websites used for college apps? Well, it's pretty cool. In California, we've got the Cal State system. Uh, you would apply at Cal State Apply. The University of California system, all of the UCs have their own application. And private and out-of-state colleges have uh, what's called the common application. And some colleges actually have their own. So it can be tricky if you pick an out-of-state college, they might use their own application system. So that you could use as many as four or five different applications when you're a senior and applying for colleges. And that's kind of like what Naviance, like what's Naviance? Oh, well Naviance is a link between all the colleges and your academics. So Aries connects with Naviance. So all your grades, your GPA, your class rank, all of that is ready to go to the colleges. So if you're applying to a private or an out-of-state college, you link your common application to Naviance and that way they have access to everything. Okay, so another topic we wanted to talk about were scholarships. So how do students go about getting a scholarship? Okay, so scholarships are kind of difficult. Um, we have a couple different ways. I have a scholarship spreadsheet where I've put together as many scholarships as I can of scholarships that come to Rodriguez through, um, it could be many entities in Solano County, it could be across the nation, things like the Bill Gates Scholarship or the San Jose Sharks have a scholarship. Um, Grape Growers Association has a scholarship and I just uh, received a new one today from the Elks Club. So I have them all on a spreadsheet, but the most important way to begin is to look at the college you're applying to. So let's say you're going to apply to UC Santa Barbara in engineering. They might have a scholarship in that engineering program that you can qualify just by going to UC Santa Barbara. So you'd want to start and look at the programs at each school you're applying to. And then there's the assistant grad. The assistant grad comes in January and February, and those are easier to get. Those are local scholarships just in Fairfield, and most of the students that apply for those usually get at least 500 to a couple thousand dollars. So what's the earliest and the latest a student could apply for a scholarship? You can begin in middle school. Oh. Yeah, there are some scholarships that you can begin uh, applying to, but they get a little tricky. They might involve some community service throughout the summer, some leadership programs where you have to travel to Washington, DC. I kind of shy away from those because yeah. they're really a long commitment. You can also volunteer at North Bay Hospital, and if you work, or I should say volunteer, more than 100 hours, you can get a North Bay scholarship. So there's a lot of different ways that you can get them. Yeah. And you really wanna get a scholarship with maybe the program you've been volunteering with, community service, that kind of thing. So how many times do you recommend students take the SAT? At least three. I would take it March of your junior year, June, May or June of your junior year and October of your senior year. 
if you're unable to take one of them, uh, you can take it as late as November and even December of your senior year if needed. So there's still time. <laughs> So do you have any recommendations for students applying out of state? Well, the biggest recommendation would be make sure you have visited that campus because going out of state can be daunting if you're thinking of applying to a school in Alabama or Mississippi and you've never been there. Um, I think it's kind of important for a student to get their feet on the ground on the campus before you're even going to consider it. Um, but out of state, I'm from out of uh, the East Coast, so I love all of the East Coast colleges. Um, you can get a great education there. Some of the colleges will match our, are pretty close to our state tuition. Um, so if you put our state tuition and housing together, you can actually attend an out of state college for the same price as a Cal State University. Our last question is, do you think college is the right option for everyone? No. A four-year university is not needed for everyone. Um, a lot of jobs just need some kind of training. And you can get a one-year certificate at Solano College for say automotive, you can get certificated, or you can get it in cosmetology, you can get it in early childhood education. So that's only a 12-month commitment. There's also an associate degree you can get for two years. And your first two years now are free at the community college, so I think it's a great option. So that is just an associate degree. You can get a lot of jobs with just the associate degree or certificate. To get your bachelor's degree, I think you will make a little bit more money though. Um, so those students just have to decide what kind of job they're interested in and is a bachelor's degree required. Okay, that's all we have for you today at Mustangs. Um, thank you guys for watching and come stop by the College and Career Center anytime you want. Thank you guys, thanks, great questions.